things work out best for those who make the best of how things work out. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we get some great tips on how to practice mindfulness even while you're at work. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Adriana Girdler, Productivity Specialist, President of Cornerstone Dynamics and MyVisualVision.com. I'm going to give you five tips that you can do today at work to be more mindful. So let's go to number one. So tip number one is mindful minute. So the first thing you do when you come into work is you sit at your desk. You can even use your phone for one minute and just close your eyes and take some breaths. And just really be mindful, be present in that moment for one minute before you start anything, before you look at your email, before you get into the groove of it all. Allow yourself to be grounded. Very quick, easy technique to be mindful in that moment and get you started off on the right note. Tip number two, mindful breathing. Now, Breathing is really important when it comes to mindfulness um, because it allows you to slow down. It takes any stress levels that you have, which you're usually running pretty high with, and allows you to bring it down. So when you do breath, it's not a shallow breath, which is usually what is how we breathe when we're stressed out. It's a belly breath. So you can take a deep breath in from the belly up through the diaphragm, and you're going to breathe it out. Now, you just don't do it once because that's not going to be mindful. (laughs) Anybody can do that. You want to set your timer or at least have it for one to three minutes, really focusing on that breath. Your eyes can be open. There's no rule that they have to be closed. You can if you want, but just focusing on your breath for one to three minutes, deep diaphragm, belly breathing is really going to allow you to bring you down to that moment of groundingness and to be present at that point in time. So if anything is going on and you're really stressed out, great technique from a mindfulness perspective. Tip number three is mindful listening. Now, I love this one because usually when we think about mindfulness, we're so focused on what is it that we can do, but it's also with people around us. What can we do with them? And mindful listening, particularly in the workplace, is really important because I promise you, when we're stressed and we're really busy, guess what? We're not listening. And then we miss out on the information. And then there's assumptions. And then people get upset because things were taken out of context. Why? Simply because people weren't listening. So just like the mindful moment, just like the mindful breath, mindful listening is about being in the present moment. Not worrying about formulating your thoughts so you can answer back, but really listening to the person speaking. And highly recommend that when you listen, talk back to them in regards to summarizing what they just said so that they actually hear that you listen. It's going to disarm any issues that may be popping up because people know that you're actually taking the time to figure out what they're saying. It's actually going to help you out a lot too because when you're listening around you, you can get the information you need in order to do your work for efficiency and effectiveness. And that's really important as well. Tip number four, mindful walking. This is my favorite, 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 favorite. Mindful walking is literally walking but at a much slower rate. And it's taking into account what's happening around you. So when I do my mindful walking, I actually love walking outside because if you think about it, when we're walking, in fact, do this little test, just walk. You can see how fast it is and you're not noticing anything around you. But when you actually do a mindful walk, you go slower, just like I'm talking slower, slower pace. Notice the movement that's actually happening around you You really see this outdoors because you can see actually the trees and the leaves moving and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, there's tons of butterflies. What's going on here? Birds? I never saw that before when I was so in my moment. But you can also do this within the office. If you're going to a meeting and you're rushing, you're not taking note of anything, go slower. Allow yourself to just focus on what you're doing one foot at a time. Even go super slow. That allows you just to be in that moment, which is what what mindfulness is about, to bring you down make you grounded, and when you're at a point where you can just look at things, you'll be amazed at what opportunities pop up. 
So definitely try mindful walking. Last but not least, particularly for work, tip number five is mindful interaction. What do I mean by that? Well, I want you to put yourself in someone else's shoes. So you're busy, you're walking mindfully now to a meeting, someone sees you and they go, oh my God, they're walking slow, I'm gonna to talk to them. <laughs> no, that's not what happens, but hey, it could. But they have something they wanna talk to you about and they're not happy. So instead of getting defensive right away, mindful interaction is to take away that emotional charge, is just to look at the situation for what it is, put yourself in that person's shoes to understand where they're coming from. You'll be amazed, the compassion that actually comes up and you realize perhaps it is not about you, it's about that person so that you don't become defensive which can charge a situation. Really great tool and technique to use with anyone perfect tool if you're a manager or an employee in regards to those relationships. Take the charge out of stuff. People do not wake up to do things on purpose, but yet we behave in that manner. So have some mindful interaction and that will make a huge difference in relationships. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.